Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All Things Middle Earth here. Today we're talking about relics, which is a very, very important topic in this game. And if you've not listened to other videos, please listen up here because many players have come to me and talked about how they've messed up their account because they've invested in the wrong relics or they've accidentally reforged their relics and lost items. There is a lot of risk and permanency involved with relics. So make sure you listen up because this one's important, especially if you're a new player. Don't mess up your account by getting the wrong relic or getting stuck with a relic you don't want. Now, if after watching this video, you decide you still want to spend in this game, you want to go for relics, whatever it is, I have a top-up link that is linked down in the description below. This is an affiliate link. The TLDR is if you use this link, it supports the channel. It can be cheaper depending on your state you're in or the country you live in. It actually can be a lot cheaper for certain people depending on where you're at. So check it out to see if you can at least save yourself some money. But at the end of the day, it is an affiliate link. It supports the channel. So if you are spending, consider using this to support the channel. Now starting out, what are relics? Relics are a fifth item or a piece of equipment you can have on your commanders in addition to the rest of the gear you have on. So as you can see on my alerts here, we do have his bladed bow relic equipped in addition to all four other pieces of equipment you can have on a commander. Now relics give you a variety of different bonus stats as well as a special effect they do. So for alerts, for example, he has all these extra stats here as well as the pin down ability, which is going to inflict an additional 20% physical damage on his normal attack. So pretty nice. And as you strengthen these things up or enhance them, you are going to roll one additional stat. So it's random, it's RNG. These are very risky for this reason because on my alerts, I enhanced and I strengthened one time, as you can see by the gold star right here, and I got commander attack. Now on alerts, that's fantastic. All I want on alerts is commander attack basically. So that's a fantastic roll. However, I could roll unit attack, unit defense, whatever, four times, five times. You're not guaranteed to get the best rolls here. I've also seen people get very good rolls where they get three or four of these that they want. It's totally random. So you have to be willing to risk items because you could be using items that you will not get back, which we'll talk about in a second. Items you put into relics are gone forever, by the way. Um, so you could be risking items permanently uh, to get a bad status roll. So bear that in mind with relics. Um, they are expensive, which we're going to talk about in a second, but that is what they are and kind of how you boost their stats. You enhance them and it's a random roll on one single stat. Now, as far as being expensive outside of costing gear to strengthen, your commanders have to be at respect 10 and they have to be at mythic level and you have to have enough of the pure mithril. So my alerts, for example, I ascended him to mythic. As you can see here, my Gimli is legendary. He's still tier two. It says he's awaiting ascension. I cannot get his uh, relic here because he is not ascended to mythic. So I would have to go in here and first ascend my Gimli to Mythic, which is 150 of his own items and 40 of Danes to ascend him. I then would need 50 of the uh, Mithril down here. It's 60 for uh, Mythic commanders that are already Mythic, and I think it's 40 for uh, Epic commanders that are brought up, but you need between 40 and 60 just to unlock it on top of Ascension, which is already very, very expensive, on top of also having just at respect 10, which is also very expensive. And like I said, once you have ascended, you have the Mithril, You've completed all these different tasks because there are different tasks and requirements for all of them. For Gimli's, it was conscript uh, 10,000 infantry units and recruit Legolas and use Gimli to complete 20 tavern tips. I've not done that yet. I have to do all these special tasks. Most of them are pretty basic, but there are some that are kind of unique and annoying. But for the most part, those kind of get done as you use the commander. It is worth noting that you unlock the quests for Relic at um, Respect 5. So my Saruman, for example, is Respect 4. And he's not even tracking or unlocking any of the quests. Even if he's doing the things that I, I would maybe know he needs to do, they don't count until they're at Respect 5. So they have to be at Respect 5 to even unlock the ability to get their tasks done for their Relic. But again, once you've done all of that and you finally unlock the Relic, you can put it on your commander and you can decide if you're going to strengthen it up or not, if you're going to leave it alone, if you're going to refine it, which refining just costs more Mithril. So uh, I'm blocking it a little bit, but as you can see right there, we need 50 more Mithril to refine one time, and that's going to stack up and grow as you refine it. So if I want to get 41% uh, additional damage on my alert, I need to get 12 more Mithril to do that. And if I want to strengthen it and get more base stats, I need to put, this is the second level, I need to put three more items in. Now, just for science, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to strengthen a Relic up. Again, I'm, I'm getting rid of these three pieces of equipment, and I'll show you in a second. You will not be able to get these back ever in the form that they are. So you have to be sure you're okay parting with the items that you're putting into the relic. I'm going to click this button down here, and it's going to give me one of these random stats. Now, the things that I want on alerts are going to be commander attack. HP would be okay, that's fine. Uh, the unit stuff, I'm really not going to be happy with, and I'm stuck with it unless I reforge it. So let's go ahead and roll the dice. 
Again, this is for the video, so hit that like button because uh, I'm doing this for you guys. But you're going to strengthen it. So I have to confirm. Again, we get some information here, which we'll talk about as well. But um, we get some kind of warnings here. I'm hitting OK. And we got Commander HP. OK, for a damage dealer, I'm not unhappy with HP. That could have been worse. Obviously, Commander Attack would have been fantastic. But I'm happy it wasn't the unit stat. So that's how the enhancement of relics work. Now, I cannot get those items out. If I go over to my item page and look at this relic, you can see these are the things I put in the relic and there is no way to break these down until you have strengthened a relic all the way, five stars, you get an option to reforge your relic. Now, what reforging does is it refunds you half of the materials that you put into your relic, but they become uh, worn out pieces. So they become like this worn out piece right here. Everything you get back will be worn out and not the same. It won't be an item piece. It won't have set effects whatever. So essentially, if you strengthen a relic all the way up and decide you don't want to use it, you lose half of the actual pieces you put in, but you, you technically lose all of them, but you lose half in terms of the actual items you could use for other things. So previously on my account, I had the Morgul Staff for Sestaro as well as the Doomforged Maces on the Shadow. These were both fully strengthened. That means there are 50 combined pieces in both of these. And there were things in here that people would, like you, if you watch streams for a while, you've probably seen it. I had a Maras range with agility in one of these things. Um, just really, really good pieces that I'd love to have had, but I just, I can't, they don't have a way for you to get these items out of the relics and you just have to reforge. So I ended up reforging. I made the decision to sacrifice my gear because I wanted to be able to make some more other, you know, gold pieces of gear sets like that. So I basically just threw away, you know, 24 or whatever it is items to break both of those down. So it is a huge cost. So I just, demonstrate all that and show you guys just to show how permanent relics are. And if you're going to get relics, please make sure it's one that is actually viable and useful, unless you're just playing for total fun. And it's like, I don't care. I want to get whoever's, which, you know, knock yourself out, but you cannot get rid of them. And you, you know, if you use your Mithril, that's the other thing too. Mithril can never come out of these. I've refined Sestaros twice. I would like to take this Mithril out of Sestaros and really just get rid of it and get rid of shadows and refine Lurtz's three or four times. I can't do that. The Mithril is gone forever. So they're very, very permanent. If you get them, you are stuck with them. Now, I do think this is a pretty bad system. So Netties, if you're listening, I think we need a different system for relics. Previously, when they were called uniques, they actually were, they worked this kind of same way. You couldn't break them down. Then they added the Elven Craftsman's Hammers and you could break down relics. And everyone was so happy. This was a really, really huge deal. You could finally break down relics. And then 2.0 came out, they updated it and you can no longer break down relics. So we've kind of reverted back in terms of the choice we have as players. I'm using my own gear in, in, to upgrade these things and I can't undo it. I can't get rid of it. It just, it really stinks, especially if you're someone like me who early on upgraded relics with gear you didn't think you're going to use. And then they changed all the race restrictions on gear. So you had a bunch of good stuff in there, blah, 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 boohoo me. But it's a very bad system. So Netties, if you're listening, I do think the relic system needs reworked. Although at this point, I don't have hope for that happening. So just keep all that in mind, trying to caution you guys, especially if you're a brand new player and you're building up those commanders, just be aware. Um, they're very permanent, only invest in the ones that are very, honestly, just the best relics in the game. That's what I've invested in. Now, speaking of the best relics in the game, or at least some that I like, I'm going to put some text up on the screen so you guys can see. These are sort of in order of how we rank them. We did a tier list. I'll link the tier list down in the description below. If you guys are curious, I went through in a video and ranked some of the better relics in the game. So for example, Dane has a very good relic that's going to boost his physical damage. Basically, if the relic effect goes in line with what the commander's doing and the commander's already pretty solid. It's usually a pretty good relic. Um, so Danes is one of the better ones in the game for an, an example. Uh, but our tier list we did is with the old relics. They changed all the names and pictures of the relics. They're exact same effects, exact same everything. So if you guys want to look at that, if you can decipher what the old names were, you're welcome to do that. But I'm just going to put up on screen how they are in the tier list kind of in order. These order could probably be argued, so don't get hung up on it. But these are ones that are kind of agreed that are are probably safe bets to invest in, especially as a new player. So look at those if you want to. But again, the whole point of this video is just to caution players, just to let you know how permanent these are, because many players have come to me and said, you know, I didn't know they were permanent. I have gear stuck there. Some players reforged their relics, not realizing they would have lost items, and they just threw away some of their best items they have. I've heard horror stories. So trying to prevent that as much as possible moving forward, again, at ease. We need this system fixed and addressed. I think, honestly, people need some some gear back that they've lost because of this. Will we get it? No, but I'm just going to keep saying it uh, so you guys know where I'm at on it. But again, that is relics. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any relics that you regret having because I'm right there with you. And at least we can kind of 
be in misery together because we have relics we can't get rid of. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about relics. That'll do it for this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.